long watching the paraders Legionnaires with two by fours as they're marching off to war Yeah, they're marching off to war I didn't know what you were made of Color of your blood, what you're afraid of Are you made of calcium or are you carbon based? And if you're made of calcium, I have to take it. took you so long. Are you ready? Yeah. Sir, Byler's with me. Mm -hmm. I'll go get her. <laughs> He's probably drunk before he got to the <laughs> 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 Looking Ooh. good, Sarah. <laughs> Very cute. <gasps> Very good. First night going out for a room spring is always the best. I guess so. Ruth's been trying to get me to go out with her for a while now, but I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. Don't worry about it. Just, just stick with me. I'll show you a good time. Can we get going? I want to get there before Sunday church. Here. Here. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> <laughs> Got a cough to get off. Process. Shoddy. Driver. Morning, Ed. Glad you're here. Morning, Dale. How are you? I've been better. This is pretty bad. Let's take a look. Looks like the cause of death is blunt force trauma to the back of the head. We'll know more when we get her back to the morgue and do an autopsy. Poor girl. She couldn't be more than 17. Hey, Ed. We found some stuff in the field up here. You might want to come check it out. Well, that's interesting. So let's show her a good one. Well, nice to meet you, Sarah. Hi. Drink, it's good for you. <laughs> you guys are just in time. I was about to say. Oh. She want one? I don't know, does she? What is it? It's pure bliss without work. It's English in pill form. How you doing? Just fine. Hey, come here. Hey. Come with me. Hey, follow me. Do what feels natural. Okay. Everything feels weird. Sarah. <laughs> I want to go home. Sarah, it's just a beer. Here, take a couple deep breaths, okay? Relax. Good. Now look at me. What are you doing? What? What's the matter? I thought you liked me. No. 
You're just scared, aren't you? I've never kissed anyone before. It's all right, that's what Rum Spring is all about. In case you haven't noticed, everybody's pretty much hooking up with everybody. I mean, what do you think Ruth and Merv are doing right now? Stop! Ruth and Mervyn are not fooling around, and, and I don't want to fool around with you. Whatever, Sarah. There's plenty of girls here. You know, I don't want to spend my whole night with you. I'm going to find somebody else to hook up with. How may I help you, sir? Jesse Byler? Is there a problem? It's concerning your daughter, Sarah. Mr. Byler, I'm sorry to say this. Your daughter passed away last evening. Maybe you should sit down. Where the hell are you going? Oh man, please don't try and make a move on me too. Whoa, Sarah, who said I was gonna make a move on you? What's wrong? Everything is wrong. I'm drunk and my body feels weird and guys that I think are nice just wanna get me into bed. <laughs> First night going out for room spring is always like this. I thought you said it was going to be fun. It is. Well. It can be under the right circumstances. People tend to concentrate on the materialistic part of it. Don't you see the evil, though? When you look at the world like this, it's plain that this is the devil's playground. What the church doesn't want you to know is that there's more to this world than just these stupid drunken parties. So, you're not going to join church? I don't know. Ruth wants me to leave with her, so that way we don't have to do it alone. What about you? Me? I guess I've never really thought about it before. I mean, joining church has always been second nature for me. What happened to Ruth, by the way? I thought you two went off together. We did, but I ditched her. I, I, I just don't like her like that. I like you, Sarah. I always have. I like you too, but I could never leave church. The idea of never seeing my family or friends again for the rest of my life, well, doesn't that scare you? Not if I had someone to do it with. Someone that I really care about. Will you do it, Sarah? Will you come with me? I just heard back from the morgue. Talk screen on the girl came back positive for alcohol, marijuana, and MDMA, which pretty much proves she was at the party. Was anything found at the scene? Nope. Nothing. You know, if she'd passed out and hit her head, we see what she hit her head on, but there's nothing there. It suggests that somebody disposed of the murder weapon, officially making this the first homicide Ison's had in the past six years. And the first in the Amish community that we know of. It'll be in the newspapers tomorrow. Excuse me. I'm looking for the detective in charge of the Sarah Byler case. Now that would be me, Detective Edward Gaines. Mervyn Yoder. I'm the bishop of the local Amish congregation. I'll leave this to you. Please, sit down. I hear that you paid a visit to Jesse Byler today. I did, in regards to his daughter, Sarah. Jesse tells me that young Sarah was brought back to be with God last night. Is it true that you suspect foul play? Uh, yes, sir, that appears to be the case. And you think an Amish youth had something to do with this? It's the most likely scenario, yes. I just had a very long conversation with Jesse Byler. He has decided that he is no longer going to be pursuing this case. We want to bury Sarah and move on. God will do his justice. 
in this life or the next. But what if it's one of your youth joining your community? If they have been led astray and God chooses to bring them back to the church, then it is better for us to lose one to the Lord than another to the devil. Even so, we just can't drop the case. It's not possible. Then I'm going to demand that I be present whenever you speak to anyone in my congregation. Good day, sir. Holy shit, Ruth. What did you do? Sarah, Sarah. You were gonna leave with her. She's not breathing. She's not breathing. You were gonna leave with her. You were supposed to leave with me. Sarah. Sarah. We were supposed to be together. Sarah. We were supposed to get out of this hellhole together. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Why did you want to leave with her? It was a lie, Ruth. I was just trying to get into her pants. You didn't want to leave with her? Oh, damn it. There's no way some idiot farm girl like her could ever make it out of this place. Oh, God. But now she's dead, Ruth. She's fucking dead. What are we going to do? We're going to go to jail. Leave. We can go. We have enough saved up. We no. can go somewhere, no. anywhere. No, no. If we leave, they'll know it was us. We have to join church. It's the only way. They'll no. protect us from the law. No. They'll take us in. No. Ruth. Ruth. It's the only way. We're already ready. God. We can do it the week after next. Ruth. Ruth. So we're agreed then. Agreed. Booth or counter? Neither, thanks. I'm looking for someone. Ruth Miller, I understand she works here. Yeah, she does. She's in the back. I'll go get her. I'm not supposed to talk to you without the bishop here. Not supposed to or don't want to? I'm sorry, Mr. Gaines. I have to get back uh, to the, uh, the bishop says he wants to be present only when members of the church are being questioned. Now, are you a member of the church or are you still in Rumspringa? I am in Rumspringa, but I will be joining the church at the end of the season. As such, I should abide by congregational rules to prepare myself to be a full member. Sarah was your friend, your neighbor. Don't you want to help her? Sarah has returned to God, Mr. Gaines. There's nothing more I can do for her here on Earth. Will you at least tell me if you were with her or saw her at the party? I'm sorry, I have to get back to work. Do you believe and confess that Jesus Christ is God's Son? Yes. Do you believe and trust that you are uniting with the Christian Church of the Lord? And do you promise obedience to God and the Church? Yes. Do you renounce the devil, the world, and the lustfulness of your flesh? and commit yourself to Christ and his church. Yes. You promise to live by the standards of the church and to abide by the truth you have accepted, thereby to live and thereby to die with the help of the Lord. 
Yes. Arise and be accepted as a brother. Ruth, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Arise and be accepted as a sister. Let us all celebrate with our new brother and sister in the Lord as we have a special church supper at the house. What are you doing here? You, I'd like to speak to your entire congregation together. Considering you asked to be present, and here you are, I hope that won't be a problem. That is extremely unorthodox, Mr. Gaines. It will only take a second of your time. Please, leave us in peace. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, as I'm sure all of you know, one of your fellow Amish, a young girl, was killed in the woods, not too far from here. Now, I know all of you have been advised not to speak to me, but that was a helpless little girl out there. She didn't deserve to die, and her death doesn't deserve to be ignored. My door is always open at the police station if anybody needs to talk. Ed, there's somebody here who wants to talk to you. An Amish kid named Mervyn Yoder says he knows something about Sarah Baylor. I just joined church today. I could get in a lot of trouble if anyone knew I was here. A lot. I could be excommunicated from the church and never allowed to see my family again. But I can't keep it in any longer. It's, it's just not right. I... I... At the party... <clears throat> the truth is, I drove Sarah to the party that night with a whole group of other people. When was the last time you saw her at the party? I didn't, I didn't see Sarah much past, past the beginning of the night, but at the end of the party, she was, we couldn't find her, so we just assumed that she went off with some guy and, and went home with him. Who's we? Um, me and Ruth Miller. She's my girlfriend. Mr. Gaines, if you don't have any more questions, I really need to leave and get home before anyone notices I'm gone. All right, Mervyn. I, I hope I was able to help. Shit. So? You, you were right. They don't know anything. You told them about giving her a ride? Everything we talked about. And they bought it. Yeah. So now what? Now we go home. In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return.